Today in Photoshop, we are going to take a look at how to create dynamic thumbnails or blog images from static screenshots. So to get started, you will first need an image or screenshot to work with. Now I have a screenshot of my After Effects window from a previous tutorial. So once you have this loaded into Photoshop, the first step is going to be to transform this image by pressing Command or Control T. Once you've done that, go ahead and right click on your image and then select Distort from the menu. Now the root of this effect is going to be simulating 3D. So grab the top right corner of your image and bring it up and inward, and then bring the bottom right corner up a bit, and bring the bottom left corner down, until your image begins to look like it has a bit of depth in virtual space. Now once you are happy with your result, go ahead and click the check mark at the top of the page. Now we can also retransform our image and right click and select perspective, and then slightly lower the top right corner. So when you are satisfied and happy with all of your transformations, go ahead and scale your image up so that it fills the screen. So after that, it's time to simulate the depth of field for our image. Now I prefer to use the blur tools available in Photoshop CS6, but this effect can also be achieved with a simple Gaussian blur as I will show shortly. So first select your image, and then go up to Filter, and then down to Convert for Smart Filters. Now when the dialog box comes up, go ahead and click OK. So then go back up to your Filter menu, and then down to Blur, and then select Iris Blur from that menu. So I'm going to be dragging the center of my iris blur down to the bottom left of my image as this is where I want to draw attention. So I can then adjust the radius and shape of my blur to my liking. Now I will keep my blur amount fairly low, around 7 pixels or so, so that I can still see a bit of the background. Now when you are finished, go ahead and click OK at the top of the screen. So now we can go ahead and grab our crop tool and just crop our image down, and you can see that it has turned our static screenshot into something much more compelling. So if you don't have Photoshop CS6, you can also get this effect by going up to Filter, and then down to Blur, and then over to Gaussian Blur. Now I'm going to be keeping my Gaussian Blur fairly low, around 2 or so pixels, and then clicking OK. So then go ahead and click on your Smart Filter Layer Mask, and grab your Elliptical Marquee Tool. Now make a selection that is feathered by about 10 or so pixels, and fill it with black. I'm going to be filling my selection with black by pressing Alt-Delete on my keyboard to fill my selection with the foreground color. Now by going this route, you may lose out on the nice interface, but the effect is still quite similar. So there we have it. Feel free to try it yourselves on thumbnails, blog posts, and more. So as always, if you enjoyed this Photoshop tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.